Hey guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to two episodes one and two of Awari Managatari. So let's go ahead and get started with episode one and three, two, one, go. Mm -hmm. Oh, didn't know that. Yeah, she might be one of the weirdest characters of this whole damn series. Hmm, okay. Hmm. Okay. It's probably like what my second or third favorite opening. It's going to make my head hurt, ain't it? So you're fucking telling me that you two are locked in this room for 12 episodes? The fuck? Yeah, but then what took all these? Okay, then uh, then do that. How 
How the hell are you gonna wait for help to arrive? Do they even know that you're still in school? Okay, comedy knows all right. I know. You can still do things on your own. She right about that. They seriously gonna be stuck in here for 12 fucking episodes. Are you fucking kidding me? They don't, oh my god. Y'all don't know how long y'all been in there then. Oh my god. Did you try your cell phone? Okay, basically before you graduated. Yeah. When she came in and was like, hey. Oh, God. If cute means weird, then yes. But that's okay. Well, yeah, because the um, arsenal. Mm -hmm. I don't like that angle on her. Yeah. Oh, you're right. No, 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 no. I don't think it's that. Okay. They're so simple. And we're gonna be stupid and go in that classroom, right? Yeah. Let's not and say we did. And when she closed it, she sealed their fate. And now they're in there. Yeah. So it could have been, they could have been there for hours. And because of the fact that they can't see outside, they don't know what time of day it is. It could be nighttime by the time they get out.
Mm-hmm. Yeah. I I don't think it's a study session because if it was, wouldn't there be more students in this room? Yeah, you're fine. Maybe you should sit down. Maybe something will happen when you sit down. I don't know. Well, yeah, but you could have said anywhere, but you picked that chair. Mm -hmm. What was it about that chair? Okay. True. No, it's just a theory. It's somewhat the truth, but we don't know. We've been in this room before. What the fuck? Um, this ain't no get out type shit, right? But now it's like, what the fuck? Because he used to be in this classroom. He had to be. Oh, well, I mean, because this is a character who I feel like know everything. Why do I feel like we're going to go back in time again?
Maybe somebody else disappeared that he knew of? I don't know. But that date seems familiar to him. Oh. Yeah, because that's true. Because after that, you were ever so to yourself until the movies when you and Han Hanagawa like slowly became friends. Because Hanagawa was like your first true friend before your girlfriend came. It has to be. What else would it be the reason for, you know? Couldn't get out. So let me guess. Somebody did something, and y'all all got in trouble for it, and you had to figure it out yourself. She's pretty though, but she looks like um honestly she looks like your sister if she had gray hair. Basically. Yeah, because like a basically just told him to come in. They were not coming. Okay, do you remember what the cell phone messages in the paper said or something? Mm 
Oh, and she's there. But then the thing is, we don't even know what the fuck the culprit did. So it would have been better if she would have said, hey, this is what we know what they did. Why doesn't come somebody who is the culprit just come out and say what the fuck that they've done? Or could just explain it. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But I'm guessing no one went to the study session. Of course. So basically, someone cheated. And then whoever else talked to them about it, they in trouble too. Just as much, but not as much as the, um, the ringleader. I mean, don't get me wrong, like, Okara, she's really interesting, but... Mm. Hell, it might even take him, like, 11 fucking episodes just to remember everything. Sandrana. Oh. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do. Of course. Okay, what? Mm -hmm. I, I think that's honestly the only really way but you also have to be mad and so that's also what's happening now Mm -hmm. Possibility. Mm -hmm. Yeah, until now.
And so now you're being questioned and judged for it in a way. Honestly, this is a really good first episode, but I mean, it can literally be any one of those types of people who are in the room with both Agaragi, Senjohara, and Okura. Because, I mean, you got three characters who are there, and then everybody else ain't there, so it could literally be any one of these freaking people. But I don't think it's really Senjohara or Okura, because, I mean, reasons, they're like kind of main characters of the show. But yeah, in the end, main characters can still be the culprit of anything really but maybe i mean because this is like 12 12 to 13 episodes for this season or really aren't i don't know this is gonna take six weeks for me to figure it out and i don't think they're gonna go they're gonna go in depth for it but i feel like there's gonna be one moment i'm gonna think it's person a and then it might be person b or person c or whoever it's gonna be somebody and because i mean none of them have faces so you just have to go off i think it's a guy i think it's a girl it could be this character, or this character, or this character, or that name, or this thing, or whoever. But honestly, right now, I have no fucking clue. But it's interesting that they're both locked in this room, and the only way that they can get out is essentially they have to figure it out on, on their own together. But it's going to be a lot of um, moments that Agarayun is going to have to go back and like recall his memories of the past and what all truly happened that day or even several days after that event for him to possibly get the right answers who fucking knows i mean y'all know i don't know shit until i watch this damn show but i you know honestly i don't know why but in a weird way i feel like this episode or really this arc on oshino should have happened like a while ago and so it feels so weird to go like especially when i started the last few episodes of season two and then starting season three and going back and forth between yeah, I got you who's not graduated and in college to a point where it's like, okay, no, let's go back in time to where he's still in his senior year of high school and we're focusing back on him and learning about all these other things that happened while the shit that was, you know, the fake trailer ish that happened several episodes ago that didn't eventually happen and shit like that. But I don't know. I mean, anything could really happen. I know, I think possibly with the later on in this series, the 12 episodes and then going on so forth, um, we might end up seeing them being graduated. I want to, just as much as like how I was very uh, passionate to seeing mine from um, Bookworm, like essentially, you know, doing her ceremony and, you know, going on from that. And it's like, I just want to see him and Sinjahada fucking graduate. And same thing with Hanagawa because they've been together. Well, mm, let me take that back. Two out of the three have been together somewhat since day one, but it is weird to like go to an episode where she's there because there were times where like I think in the movie because I even asked it I was like okay she's not gonna be oh my god fucking Isla last shit um Sinjad is not gonna be in the series in this movie overall this is really just the relationship of Agaragi and Hanekawa and this is really the relationship of a little bit of Sinjad but Agaragi and Okura and they're you know beauting like frenemy moments because you can, he said that, you know, in a way, he doesn't like, no, she doesn't like him. And so I was like, oh, okay. I was like, you, you can't really see that. But like, it's because like, I was thinking, like, oh, okay, she just seems like a very likable person. And I think she would probably like everyone. And then, you know, he said that shit. And I was like, oh, okay, never mind then. But yeah, go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode two. Episode two and three, two, one, go. I bet you it was Anzu. <laughs> mm -hmm. So then he would be back to square one again. So then that would just be, yeah, you would be in that list. The same thing with Sanjohara.
Then what was it? Okay. Okay, but then the question is, who did y'all already go ahead and determine that first time and just said, If you did find happiness, it's a possibility you found despair. Who knows? Honestly, I thought this song was just going to be for one episode because it just seemed like it was just a one-off song opening. I don't know. I mean, hell, it could last like... See, because that's the biggest thing because who knows? I mean, it's going to be 12 episodes or even 13 episodes of them sitting in a classroom figuring out this culprit thing, which honestly, it, it seems like the most interesting arc right now but i feel like there's going to be more they're going to be a hell of a more interesting but who knows i mean hmm. i just felt like i thought this one was gonna go more on her maybe instead of the the math thing that they're going into agarayin's background and you know his past and stuff i thought we were gonna finally find out what the fuck her job is or something i mean because like no offense, like, dead ass. I really want to go ahead and look for spoilers and be like, what the fuck this girl do? Boy, girl boy. I, I really don't know, because even till today, I still get confused with her. She's an interesting fucking character, and even though she's, like, she seems the most normal out of everybody, because everyone in this damn show is so fucking weird in their own special way, but you still love them, but her, she's, like, on another level, so you'd be like, She's like Nakato from Danganronpa. Like, oh my god. Girl, I can't. No question. And see, with the more questions that they sit there and ask, they're never going to get this solved and they're going to be here all fucking night. They were there until six o'clock at night, maybe even longer. Who fucking knows? Shit, I jump out the freaking window. Just pick somebody.
now I am but my ass. You're having a really dis interesting debate and you're never going to get anything solved. Exactly. No, just pick somebody. If you pick someone, you can all go home. So just pick someone. What are you going to do when they end blaming on Akaragi? Mm. But yeah, because she hates you. I know she kind of like caught you with that face. Hmm. How could she? I mean, you guys basically all vote. Well, I'm not, I'm not going to say you, but everybody else voted for her, so she feels ashamed. Honestly, I would feel bad for her. And then you've always been alone. Yeah. But see, why would someone as smart as her do something like that? I mean, I get like, okay, no, I get maybe the 19 students, but her, she was a, a really, she seemed like a really good student, but sometimes you don't even know. Because they all just wanted to go home. I thought it would be longer, you know. But then the question is, who could possibly maybe hate her as much as she hated Aganaki? I don't think Aganaki would, like, put it on her. 
Don't leave the clock on the with you and your phone. Mm -hmm. I mean, because you haven't seen her since, you know, <laughs> that day, so. Maybe she accidentally, not even accidentally, maybe she killed herself. She came back to the school late at night and then her, her soul just haunts the halls until, you know, you die or something. I don't know. Mm -hmm. may as well you're going to be stuck in here for a while it's you that or Sundrahada Might as well. But why the fuck would a homeroom teacher want to do that? Well, of course. Or she has to. Mm. 
I, I don't think so. And just like that, are you fucking kidding me? Mm -hmm, yeah, you're right about that. <laughs> Of course. That would be the most hurtful thing, like to like a student to see that their own teacher would do that such thing, but there are some teachers that are that conniving. I don't know how those students take the thing. It's fucked up though. Figures. Mm. You look at it differently after that. I think any kid would. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh <laughs> a person okra yeah oh don't go in because she doesn't like you
Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was so obvious. It's that weird. Because something about that is very, very fucking suspicious. Because I get the fact is, yes, a teacher going on maternity leave, you pregnant or anything. But as you are now leaving, a student just mysteriously comes back, the same student who's been gone for two years. Something about that to me screams bullshit. Like, I, I don't know. I mean, it, it screams not only bullshit, but something about that's not right. There's another reason why she's here. Maybe she just wants to finish the school year off in school instead of being homeschooled, possibly. But I think with these next, from episodes 3 to probably 12 or 13, however long this arc is, it's probably literally going to be Okura getting her revenge on Agaragi, possibly. Because I, I, you never know. She could just blame him for the entire thing, even though maybe she possibly still also blames the teacher for also raising her hand. Which, I mean, I, I've never really seen it. Um, no, well, actually, kind of, I have. I've seen it more with substitute teachers than actual teachers, that substitute teachers can be very conniving to their students and stuff. I've seen it, you know, when I was in high school, I never saw it really um, in middle school or elementary school, but it also really just depends on how the student teaches the, treats the teacher, because the school I went to um, here in Florida, it, it wasn't the greatest school for um, some students, but for teachers, it was good, because, you know, there was still some good kids out of the bad kids, but there were days where, like, you know, I mean, we're we were all teenagers, and, you know, you're dealing with the moods of teenagers. One minute, we're going to be happy, we're going to be sad, we're going to be pissed off about something. One thing can ruin our entire day, even as an adult till today, but I think, like, a lot of dumb things happened at my school. I mean, one student wanted to fight a damn substitute teacher because they were arguing over something so belittling and stupid, and I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, seriously? But I don't know. I think... Now that she's officially back into this, you know, back into the story, even though we just finished, you know, now learning about his past and why he's been like this for the past two years and shit. I don't know. Like, anything could really happen. She could bring anything off her sleeve, but I ain't really gonna know until <laughs> next week when I'm in my new place. But other than that, guys, that is very Action Beauters episodes one and two of All Right. Uh, Oh, why you monogatari? If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Matchless Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for Patreons and next Monday for everybody else for episodes three and four. Bye, guys.